Mulishani Mwewan Tubandi is your boy Cheese African Appetite. Hope you're blessed, hope you're well and above all embracing life. Welcome if you're new to my channel and please like, share and subscribe. Help a brother live to eat, not just to stay alive. Today my quest to fill my Bantu belly and satisfy my African appetite takes me to Norbury, South London, where I'll be sampling the delicious delights on offer from the Pakistani community. So come let's eat some food, meet some new people and explore their culture. Welcome to Dishes of the Diaspora. So we're here in um, the what? In Norbury. It's mad busy on a Saturday. And um, yeah, this um tucking into some appetizers. You get ready to get tucked into some great Pakistani food. Really hungry today, so I hope this meal satisfies my African appetite and is able to fill my band food belly. And remember, welcome if you're new to the channel. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share and subscribe. Help a brother live to eat, not just to stay alive. We're trying to create a community so we can all grow. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for all my latest videos, yeah? Bantu Belly African Appetite, let's do this. Mango chutney and that fresh veg. Mm. That's a perfect start to the meal. Wow. Alright, so this is what we've got here. We've got a special Dewat mix grill. We've got a cumin on there and we've got a lamb briani there. Yeah. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. And one of these is just calling me. I'm, I'm not being funny and I, I hate to be carnivorous but I just have to go in on that. Look at that. Alright, this is here we go. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this kebab is so hot, you can see it's hot. But it's also tender and it is mad, mad juicy, I tell you that. And the flavours, unbelievable. Wow, and that's just my first bite. Mm. Right, let's see if um, what we're doing. Yeah, we're gonna go in for one of these bits of chicken. See what that's saying. Whoa. Whoa. Once again, tender, moist, I tell you. Is that the roti? Yeah. Break some off. Right, I think I'm gonna make myself a little, a little wrap here. Put that on there. You get some onions. Put them on there as well. Get a little bit of that as well. And I think that's a wrap. 
That should be. Perfect little wrap. Yeah, my little wrap. Mm. Mm. I've just realized there's even um there's even an old chicken wing here. There's a chicken wing there, yeah? I'll go for that as well. Spice it in. It works with everything. This chicken wing is almost steamed, it's not grilled. Mm. Right. This bad boy here, look at this. Look at all the spice caked on that lamb chop, yeah? I'm getting in on this. I love a tender lamb chop as well. Oh, this is tender. Mmm. Everything on that plate is just grilled perfectly. Mm. And look here. Got some chunks of lamb there. What is it beef? Let me see. Yeah, that's lamb, and once again, tender cooked to perfection. I don't know how if they cook this all together because it's all in the same seasoning, but everything seems to come out just cooked to absolute perfection. Living in South London, like many, for me, Tootin has always been the go to when I'm in the mood for quality South Asian cuisine with its wide variety of eateries, many of which allow you to bring your own, including established restaurants such as Merch Masala and Lahori Kahari. But today I'm enjoying the delicious delights of one of the relative newcomers, the Wat, at their Norbury branch. I hope you're enjoying the vibe, and if you are, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Help a brother live to eat, not just to stay alive. I'm trying to create a community so we can all grow, so don't forget to hit that bell icon for all my latest videos. Oh, I think some of us are struggling with the spice, but I tell you what, yeah, for me, it's absolutely perfect. Right, gonna give this rice a try. It's a lamb biryani. As you can see, embedded in there is a, a big, nice chunk of lamb. But I'm just gonna go in for the the rice first of all. If I can get a bit without any lamb on it. Yeah. Rice is nice. Yeah, I love the way the individual grains are coated and the lamb flavour goes all the way through. I can taste the clove. That bit of lamb. Oh. Mm. Oh, I have a bone in it. Oh man, that's a lovely fatty bit of lamb. Wow. Like I said, yeah, that is a lovely fatty bit of lamb. That is really, really tasty. Has a bone in it. That was a bit of a surprise, but I tell you what, yeah, the flavor compensated for that. Africa they would obviously call this arrangement Nyama Choma. Um, in other places they call it barbecue or whatever or grill or mixed grill or meat grill but this has got everything in it. Um, I keep finding little surprises in there. There's more bits of lamb. Um, of course you've got the kebab there. A juicy kebab that I've been enjoying so much. You've got the chops there. Um, somewhere behind there you've got some 
nice breast of chicken and um, you've even got the, the, the miscellaneous chicken wings you've got the chicken wings in here as well so yeah it's a feast I think I'm going to go in again for some more lamb. I can't get enough of it. And there's so many different cuts. That's the thing. That's the tenderness. Not just a favour, but the fact that they've been able to keep it as tender as all the other cuts on the plate. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Making a mess of myself. Right, now by all accounts, I ordered a kima naan. So this is a kima naan that they've brought out. Uh, it seems to be caked in a lot of sesame seeds. It'll be interesting to see. Um, I think it's been... It has been... Um, cut here but it's not cut to the point where I can actually separate it. I'm gonna try and separate it. Right I've managed to separate it and this is meant to be my key manan. Yeah? Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. I also think it's got some cheese in it. Mm. I like that. Pure mint tea with a hint of cardamom. Oh, a perfect way to end the day. A perfect way to end the meal, should I say. Yeah. Thanks for watching and stay blessed. Hope you enjoyed this video as there's more to come as I continue to document underrepresented culture, cuisine, customs and hospitality whilst filling my Bantu belly. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Help a brother live to eat, not just to stay alive. Come join the community and together we'll grow. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for all my latest videos. And do remember people, don't eat to live, live to eat. Peace.